So we're heading over to uh, a gentleman selling a 1970 uh, Dodge Challenger TA 340 six pack, four speed. Um, supposedly 100% original paint. Now, most of the time when we show up to these, it's 100% original paint. We find that something has been touched up along the way. Um, the engine bay looks a little bit too nice, in my opinion, the fender tag and things, to be original paint. So I'm not, you know, I'm not uh, thinking that it actually will be 100%, but if it's 98 or 95 or 90, that would be nice. Uh, we've showed up to places where they said 100% original paint and it was uh, more like 40% original paint. And so people sometimes don't realize how much has been you know, fixed or touched up along the way. That's how people get stuck on these freaking things. The other thing just started coming down. You're all good. So you can see the, the patina, the, the little bit of wear that on the original paint throughout the car. It did have a little bit of touch up on the other quarter panel, but you can see that obviously this is all mostly original paint, uh, which is cool. I really love that when they're all original. In pictures, you know, you don't see these little things that indicate, you know, the original paint aspect of this car, but like right here, something happened to where it was painted. Somewhere in right here um, is what I'm able to see with the little bit of where you see it was uh, blended in, which is not that uncommon. So, um, extremely cool car and very well taken care of for what it is. I mean, this orange, it's, it, it, can, it can really wear. Somebody put this in the, this, somebody had this in the garage. You know, this was not a car that sat outside. It has, it's, it's very, I mean, you look at the interior, there's not even any splits in any of this stuff. So I, I, would, I would bet that the 100,000 miles that it just turned over is 100,000 miles on this car. Unfortunately, that trans is not numbers matching, but we did find the car that it belongs to, so we'll see how that story goes. But just an incredible car, man. Really is. You know, we're all caretakers. It's your turn, right? <laughs> Thank you. My, my turn for a while. Yeah, we're all caretakers. That's exactly right. None of these really, nobody's taking them home with us. Yeah, that's nuts. Secondary headers I made. <laughs> Head's all done. Does it Original move, head. Does it move pretty good? Um, I'm chasing a carburetor problem. Okay. It's just a tuning issue. Right. But she runs really good. Um, it's just she, she drops out. Yeah, that's nuts. Slant six. So you have the only four barrel, six pack looking slant six. 
duster on the in the world probably it's a one of one that's crazy that's funny i love it So we just got finished uh, doing a deal on the 1970 TA Challenger in Mango, uh, 346 pack, four speed. Heading back to California to pick up a 1968 Charger Restomod body that we built in our shop. Recently sold it to a company called Restomods down in Southern California uh, in San Diego. So we're gonna head down there with the body, deliver that to the guys, meet the guys, um, Looking forward to seeing them build this car over the next couple of years uh, and then ultimately give it away. So looking forward to meeting these guys. Nick, I think, I'm pretty sure it was Nico. Nico, you got a call from them, right? Or did they send me a message? Um, How did we get in touch with so them? So Chris had messaged me on his personal Instagram, like, hey, I'm interested in a charger body. And I had sent him just whatever we had. And he was like, oh, you know, these blah, blah, blah. But we want something a little more finished. And I was like, well, we have this, this, and that. And then he had reached out to you because he was like, I recognize the shop. And he thought that I was like scamming because <laughs> I had I had used the pics of the car in the shop. Yeah. And he was like, I recognize that shop. So he had reached out to you to make sure it was like That's right. all I above water. That. Yeah, make sure you were legit. And then he called me back and uh, we, we were trying to make a trade and stuff. And then that didn't work. He ended up selling the car. Trades the are just car. tough. Yeah, nobody so, wins in a trade. Huh? Nobody wins in a no trade. No one wants a trade. Yeah. Um, they sold the car anyway, and then he was like, hey, dude, we're ready to buy something. And I was like, well, you know, when you're ready to sit down, we'll hammer it out. And he's like, I'm ready to sit down tomorrow. And I was like, all right, cool. Let's, well, then I'll call you tomorrow and hammered it out. So we figured out what they wanted, and um, they wanted to try and go, like, they had a company, and I, I think Chris will tell us when we get there what the name of the company is that's going to wants to do a like a frame like a full frame with them oh so it's not going to be like a roaster shop it's going to no, be a it was a guy different, making a custom frame no there was a company that makes them and it's not a schwartz it was like a different company that makes suspension stuff and they wanted to partner with them 
and build a car. Oh, that'd be cool. And they are, I think, going to do that still. That's still on the table. It's just it didn't work with their timetable and how fast they wanted to get a car out. And so obviously this car that we're bringing them is going to save them. Yeah, you this know, one's already six months, and year, many time. And yeah, so they're I mean, going to put a Hellcat ready to in go. it. Um, I think we're going to discuss. They wanted to our feedback on like color combos and things and things like that. And then um, oh, it's going to get sure. a Hellcat swap. It's going to be a pretty cool car. I'm is this sure. Originally a yellow car. Yeah, this is the one that we got in Newark, That's California. Right. Yeah, I've seen it. Yeah. Before. Uh, this is the one we saw, we got in Newark, California. We got it from a guy named Santiago. So when you look up on Mopars5150 underscore, hashtag Mopars5150 underscore Miss Santiago, I think is what it is. You yeah. can see the entire, from the time I picked it up in Newark, California, up in the Bay Area. And the problem with this car was that it was a coastal car. So although cars in California generally tend to be rust free which we all know there's no such thing as rust free but minimal rust inside the cars they're usually pretty solid and you're not replacing a bunch of stuff but with this car because of all of the like hidden areas of these cars we just didn't feel comfortable leaving even what didn't look rusty yeah. so we ended up uh, Brandon ended up pulling the whole thing apart um, this is actually the car that got Brandon to go to Georgia to get trained to do the metal work because he cut the parts out. We were just going to patch it and leave it alone. And he cut the parts out and he knew how to weld, but he didn't know how to massage your body back together. And uh, so anyway, fast forward, like he went to Georgia, he got trained how to do it and came back six months later. He's been building the bodies ever since. Well, he built a bunch of bodies in, in uh, Georgia, but... He, this is the first one that he built when he got back because he had unfinished business. Yeah. So this is a full Pro Tour body um, with a stiffening kit, US car tool stiffening kit, uh, mini tub, trans, tunnel. um, trans tunnels done. We leave the top off in case they want to have access. It takes a few a few spot welds at the end to keep that, you know, put that down. But um, yeah, it's ready for whatever somebody wants to build out of it. Um, and it's a 68, which I know there's people 69 is the best, 70 is the best, but I think if you were to take a survey, a complete survey yeah. of everybody, that you're into chargers. Well, I think 68 is, yeah. wouldn't you agree? 68 is what we have the least of too. And it is, it's the hardest one to get. 70 is, even though 70 is the most rare, like they made less 70s than 68s and 69s, there seem to be more, not plentiful, but you, you know, they're, they're available, available more often. Um, so, but I love them all. Well, I love all the Chargers now. It took me a while to get used to the 71 to 74 body style, but even that one's got me hooked. Um, I don't know. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a great build, though. I think that's gonna be an amazing. It'll be cool um, to see that car next to the, because they have a 68 that they're giving away now. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that They one. have a black, uh, it was built to be a bullet car. Did we check it when we got there? Did you guys check it and make sure everything's good under there? Yeah. 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 Okay. Still tight. Um, you know what's the coolest part? Is that we have a lot of cars that have gotten restored. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of cars that we've pulled out of all these different places, whether it be a garage or a field or a ditch or um, whatever. And it's amazing how many of them are back restored, like everything from just a ratty driver to like three, four, five hundred thousand dollar builds. Yeah. And you know, there's, that's, that's super cool, you know? I mean, we're restoring some ourselves, but we can't restore them all. Yeah. There's no way, you know? Yeah, just think how many wouldn't have how many would still be sitting there doing nothing? Yeah, well, I mean, like this one, Santiago, this uh, Miss Santiago, as what we dubbed it, he owned it since the mid-70s, and it was sitting in, in, in uh, like, a carport behind his garage, and uh, it was protected. The salt, or the damage that happened to it the, was because of the coastal air. It was because of the salt. And I mean, it still wasn't even that bad. No, it wasn't that bad, but it's, like... Brandon and I talk about it all the time. If you got four places that you gotta fix in a dent, I mean, 
might as well especially if you're thing. doing like a pro tour body why are you going to try to keep that on that 318 car when it costs you so much time and then even at the end once you got done patching those four places you know if there's four places there's four that you're more. seeing i don't care I'm used to take a body apart yeah a lot of rust in between those seams they didn't use stuff that would save these cars they were just cars back then they weren't made to live 50 years you know so unless that car has been like garaged and grandma drove it kept it but if it's been outside especially in the elements like on the coast nah, it's 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 got rust other places you're just you're putting a band-aid on it which some guys out there they're so original 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 that they're willing to just put a band-aid on it and if it was a rtse 69 444 speed day in a numbers matching car we would do the same thing yeah. but a 318 that you're going to turn into a pro tour why have a rust bubble come back it doesn't make sense so whenever we build these bodies we build them with the you know with the best way that we can the best outcome that we can have like if it was ours which it is ours until we sold it to them so this is uh, Chris Esparza. He runs our garage. How's it going? Hey, Chris. I'm Troy. Nice, nice to, to meet you, you, brother. What's up, Chris? Met before, yeah. yes, yes, This is my son, Davis. Davis. How you doing? Nice, nice to meet, meet you. you. So this car, we got it in uh, L.A. It's like a place called Just Driven. And they do a bunch of like movie-type cars. Okay. And they were gearing up to do a bullet car. Um, so they had this like all-factory suspension, um, drum brakes, 14-inch uh, wheels with the hubcaps. They wanted it to like really look like a bullet. Um, the only thing they had done to it is a 318, and they put like a mid 70s 440 in it uh, with a little bit better heads and then a six speed. So when we bought it, it was painted, but like everything's stock underneath. So we just did a uh, full QA1 and four link the back, um, changed the oil pan, and then uh, changed, they had a different intake and injection setup, so we changed that. Some wiring stuff. Um, just modernized it. Yeah, then, just went through and vintage air too, right? Yeah, I it's see. got like the CVF front runner is kind of what we've been using a lot, but yeah, it's got a vintage air under dash unit. Um, yeah, I kind of like the front runner setup. It just gets tricky with the fans. Um, I don't know. We've done a couple where it, it blew out the water pump bearing on a mechanical fan. Right. It's gorgeous because the belt's just so tight. So we just do electric fans on it now. So what's your guys' plan with the body? Uh, the we're Is probably a hell of a Just that Hellcat probably in it. But okay. I don't know. We work with Blueprint a lot. And at SEMA, I saw they have a 426 Hemi, Gen 3 Hemi with a blower. And they're like, yeah, this thing's like 1,000 to 1,200. They're like, it's no, a lot stouter than a Hellcat. And it's all forged internals with a stroker oh, crank man. and everything. So they're like, this is quite a bit stronger. And they sell a complete package. So, I don't know. We have that in one of our resto mod cars. Really? Yeah, the one that the silver one has that, the 426. It's a gen. It's like a Gen 3 mm -hmm. 426. Yeah, because yeah. they sell an NA one. And oh then yeah, yeah. I guess they have the blower one. Yeah. But the, even the, the NA one, Tony. they said it was like six something horsepower. Yeah, I don't know which one it is. We bought it at an auction, and then we did some. Uh, but yeah, it's a 426 with it. a Whipple on it. Okay, so that's, yeah, that's probably a thousand horsepower. Yeah, I haven't seen that car. You guys are posting that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we talked about that car yeah. briefly a little bit. Yeah, they told us. The only us... thing I don't like is that they shave the door handles. I, I like I like them when they're yeah. OG yeah. on the outside. So we had one car that came to us and it had the, the yeah, this um, car is really nice. handles shaved and we, we actually unshaved them. Yeah, we, what's we, funny, so. Depending on how they did it. Have you seen that, like the Ring Brothers had that Tusk car at SEMA? It's like a I black 69 Charger. But same I've seen thing, pictures they have factory it. door handles on it. And I asked them, because they make their own door handles. They sell them and market them. And he was like, well, from a design standpoint, this is just better than anything I could make. So That's why, what I think. I think they're so beautiful they're, that yeah, they're pretty, yeah. we leave them the way they There's are. A lot Actually, of, they just reached out to us. They're looking they, for a They reached 68. out to us. Yeah, they reached out to me, and then they, and they reached out to Tony. They're yeah, looking for a two of the guys. So. Yeah. So yeah, they, they must be getting They do some nice some stuff. Other. They do a lot of chargers too. Yeah, they have a bunch of 69s, they said, but they said they yeah. don't have any 68s. Yeah, they had some cool stuff on that car. Like the, the whole grill assembly kind of looked like a stock 69, but it was all machined out of one giant chunk of billet. That's so they were cool. like, yeah, we kind of like really the gas monkey truck. Kind of, yeah. Because yeah, they did a machine. full billet. It was right. We saw it before. It was like a it. GMC uh, grill. Like yeah, that. like that. Yeah, yeah but customizing. Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah, so yeah, like the Ring Brother one, he's like, we just tightened everything up, you know. Crazy okay. thing about that was how they moved the scallops from the door. They did a the lot of like. To the fender. Oh, they did a lot of so they accentuated stuff. some little of the, stuff. I mean, some of the body yeah, lines. Yeah, the door is Man, there's a lot of stuff on like There's a lot of stuff on this car, man. Yeah, it is like over the top well done. Yeah, like it's. Like it's this a lot is better like than I can tell this is powder coated. Yeah. Like, like this, this is powder coated. This grill, I have a video of the All guy. All this like, stuff is powder coated. Hand painting the face with like the side of a brush, like every grill bar. It's and did you guys, time you guys added the hinges and stuff too, or did yeah, came we with added the hinges. The hinges um, just a lot of little stuff that uh, we did to it, dude. Then there's a lot of stuff that it looks like they did too that just is over the top that like most people wouldn't go through the trouble of doing. Yeah, they did good on the body and paint. Yeah, and like the fit and finish, job. they did really good the on that. The bumper gaps are really nice. Yeah. Yeah, they spent a lot of time on that. They didn't do a whole lot. That's one thing we don't do is paint. The suspension or anything. We should, but still, we've had so many paint purgatory problems. It's the, it's problems. the hardest it's part the worst. about building a class of cars. It's really ruined so many dreams of people that are building cars. Oh. The, paint, the paint shop. Yeah, we... And it's, it seems to be a lot of them. They, I don't know if they just underestimate what it takes yeah. to, build, to do one or... Well, they like doing collision repair, pays yeah, the bills. quick. And then this is like, they don't realize like no, how no, much a lot of work. Yeah, and they're not cheap anymore. And even then, we spend the money and still yeah. can't we, seem we to get... We got lucky. We have uh, you know, SV Body and Paints Local. They did that car. They did the Ram Charger. They did this Bronco. And they're probably going to do this 67 Chevelle. We, we just got done fitting that to a Roadster Shop chassis. And then we'll get a 427 as well. Oh, that's cool. So we, that one's mini tub and a custom you guys tunnel do all that firewall. Here? We did all the fab work on that here. The chassis came to us powder coated. Okay. We just fit it to it. Uh, had to move some body mounts around. A little bit of rust repair, firewall. But the exterior is pretty much stock. Yeah. We're not really going to like, change like anything. Yeah. Yeah. So I think this one will save you guys quite a bit of time. This body, yeah. that, uh, I think you'll I'm be happy with it. it. So yeah. let's go take a look at it. Yeah, let's, let's go pull it, it out. I'm gonna and kick, I'm gonna kick the this thing that makes me the no there most nervous though is transporting these things. So let's hope it didn't fall over <laughs> or some shit. So, well, that's a good thing. Oh, perfect. There you go. So sort we'll get it rolled like out, but. Well, we have all the original suspension we pulled off of that other car. So while we wait for the QA, well, actually, we probably we're just... leaving these for you guys till you're done. Okay. And then we'll just pick them up later, the, the U.S. car tools. That way you don't have to be in a rush. Yeah, well, you guys I can tell you the story about this thing. car and how I got really? it. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Do you have a piece of wood that you did it or you just muscled it over? What's huh? that? Did you just muscle it over the gap? No, yeah. it'll, it will it, get it, over. It'll, it'll, it'll slide go right over. over. Okay. Oh, okay. Cool. There it is. Watch that side. Yeah. Good. Yep. There it is. It's almost ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's crazy how much time goes into making it like this, though. Oh, this you know, is like 80% of the battle. I believe it. Where do you guys want it? Just That's straight back. <laughs> Only on the, well, we did 100% of the battle on the metal work, unless you guys, depending on how you want your gaps. And we left the uh, the top plate off. Okay. So you have access. It's just a couple, you know, welds when you're done. Yeah. Um, mini tubs. You'll see oh, this reinforced um, underneath and yeah. right up in here. Oh, yeah. Oh, this has got the, the nice, uh, location for the yeah the arms already and everything yeah because when bad. it's mini tub so it's it's mini tub as far as you can make Up it to the frame rail, goes all right? the way yeah. to the frame rail there's two ways that we do it one that is obviously pro tour yeah and then another we leave we actually cut out like a uh, three eighths of an inch or i mean a three quarters of an inch and uh bring it in and make it look stock for oh, those that I want see. it to look stock. okay so it just depends on yeah so we have both of them but um this no, one this, this is good that's the way it's supposed to be done. Yeah. That's the way that when AMB sells the mm. mini tubs, that's the instructions on how to do it. We just gotcha. we offer it both ways. But, cool. Um, yeah, this looks good, man. But yeah, so everything. This is a. This is actually from down in this area. Oh really? It was a coastal car. 
It was a California car. It's a black plate car. Is actually, I, oh, nice. I might even be able to find you guys the back oh, plate. Wow. So cool. let me look back at the pictures and see if I can find it. I'll mail them to you guys if I can find them. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it's a black plate car. The guy owned it. Um, uh, his name was uh, Santiago, uh, Santiago Pena. And uh, anyway, he uh, bought it in like 75. The paperwork, do you have the paperwork? Yeah. Let me grab, grab the paperwork. We still have the little pink slip. Oh, the old, with the, the old, old style with the plates and everything. So it still has the original little pink pink slip. Hmm. So even though the structure of the car was super solid, it had lots of little rust yeah. and just different weird spots. And so when yeah. we so when we looked at the car, we were like, the only way to really repair it without it to come back was to take everything off. Yeah. And so yeah, you know, we we always joke because people back east, their cars rust from like the bottom up. And but here by the coast, the cars rust from the top down. Yeah, the coast is like that. But Cal typical California car is you pretty yeah. much, you know, I mean, even, even the chargers rust, but. Even the, the trunks. Yeah. And usually, the, no matter where trunks. you are, if you washed it a couple times. You yeah, know, it's, it's the mat between the, yeah. the uh, um, gas tank and the actual you know, bottom of the. Yeah. of the trunk and it just it absorbs that the moisture so we had a neighbor that was like oh they shipped them uh, from the factory with rust in the trunk they, <laughs> essentially they did but this one like i said oh, look at that fully blast a yeah, pink so, slip so it's an act so santiago penna so okay. if you look up online we hashtag all of our cars so as we built this we mm. hashtag it it's mopars hashtag mopars 5150 underscore miss santiago wow so and you'll see the whole process to where we blasted it oh, and then okay. stripped it you that's know awesome. cut it all down blasted it and then rebuilt the body back to where it is today that's awesome so um you guys have that for your wow you can look at that anytime. expires in 1980. yeah this is this goes with it but there's a title in my name as well okay. so this stays with the <laughs> that's pretty cool the, um, so there you go i'll oh, sign, nice. I'll sign you it go. before we go where'd you get so. that other car that's on your uh, hauler out there we built that like five, four, four years ago, four years ago. What is that, it's patches. Market? Yeah, it's patches. It's a 69. I pulled it out of a driveway in Petaluma, California. Oh, sure. uh, the lady and the, the, they had gotten divorced in 1979 and it literally sat in the same spot into this like tree and since 1979. And so one side of it is super burned from the sun right. and the other side was buried into the, So it's like, it's right. almost didn't perfect, get as much shade, right? Didn't get as and much so shade. we redid the four wheel disc brakes, the, and we, you know, uh, Chris Birdsong with Junker Up? Yeah. So he, uh, he did all the metal work on it. And then okay. one of the guys that he knows uh, did some, uh, some patina faux touch up to make it blend. It's and really then they good. clear coated it in like a satin. Okay. Can we check and that thing out? Yeah, we can def see. definitely, definitely. So it's not, it's definitely not perfect, but it's got four wheel disc brakes. It's all original drivetrain and everything. Yep. No rust really other than the stuff that we patched, but this is all, that's, you know, took 50 years to do that sitting there. And then just smooth sanded it down. Did all new interior, oh, runs and drives awesome. killer, new vinyl top, polished all the stainless and put on new bumpers. I love this interior that. color. I'm I'm a I'm a I'm a no black. I prefer anything but black because I think that these show the the lines that you know they, they just show the interior better. But um, but yeah, we did all this interior in house. We did you know pretty much the whole car, except for the the repair work and the paint was early on. We we weren't doing it, any metal work at the time, and so Chris helped us out and redid you know, it. It's all working when you bothered to fix the clock. Like that. <laughs> We, cool. Bill, Bill, yeah, Bill, the clock works, our, I know you guys did some good. Our guy, our guy, yeah. Bill's been nip and tuck in a lot of the little things. Cause the dude, it's, they're never ending. It's never ending. Everybody says, oh, when's it going to be done? It's like, it's if you're done. asking that, you don't understand old cars. It's never they're done. never done. It's they're never, never done. done. This thing is so cool. Man. But it's just. The green interior and the I've put, I've probably put almost 3,000 miles on the red line tires. Those are expensive. I know. Oh, nice. Dude, dude it's like 300 bucks a piece. Yeah, diamond back yeah. glasses. Yeah. Yeah. They're cool though. Yeah. I think it's worth it. It's a good touch. Yeah, it really makes this car pop. I love that interior. That is. Right? The green interior. I just like green cool. interiors and you just never see them. We have a CUDA, a 71 CUDA that we're going to send across the block at Mecham um, in March. And it's black with white billboards with black interior with orange seats. Oh, really? And a shaker hood. It's got a 528 Hemi in it. It's Dang. really a spectacular car. 
Um, but the color so combo, I the guess they made a couple of them. Oh, really? And so we copied an original Survivor that was in so the like Macacken barn so find so section huh. a couple of years ago. So I wonder, somebody ordered multiples. Maybe a dealer was yeah, like, oh, I don't know, because it's something? such a weird color combo. Black, white billboards, uh, black vinyl top with the orange seats, yeah, but black interior. So the interior is black, but just the seats are orange. Hmm. It's really trip. It's really a cool looking car. Yeah, I think he, I don't think it was that high. I think it was, yeah, I think it was like down. Right there and then he blended some. Yeah. And then, up to one side. That's crazy. yeah, but like, this is all original, but like, this is, this was rusted. So this is all like, they matched it the oh, best okay. they could. And like that back window had some rust. So they redid that. And, and there was some structural stuff on this car cause it sat like this in the driveway. Oh. And so all the water kind of ran to the back and he had to literally like, cut the inside structure and weld. I mean, he did, Chris did wow. an amazing job yeah. on this car. Yeah, he knows these cars, you for know, sure. He definitely knows these cars, yeah. yeah like look this. at the inside, as far as that. So grab that side and then look here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Isn't that wild? Yeah. You gotta think about where you park them, huh? Yeah, if you're gonna park them for 50 years, I guess. <laughs> yeah, 1979, the, that was the last registration on the plates. So 44 years just sitting there? Oh, yeah. I like how they just sanded like, like it's clear cut, but not like. Oh. That they blended. Yeah, so right here. You can't even tell. So right here, they had put some makeshift hood pins right here that were funky. They weren't even right. And so they removed them. So this is all added. Oh, okay. But this is all original. Oh, that's original. Wow. But this is added right here and goes up into there. Got artsy with it. So. But underneath the hood, it's just an original car that we've been driving. All numbers matching. Perfect. Um, but the greens do really, it's a 383 four barrel. Yeah, this is awesome. So, but it's just, it's just an original car. So nothing like the black car in there. <laughs> nothing like what you guys are going to build. Well, you know? This is different, you know, it's just as cool. I always say this, like car like this, it's honest, you know, like it's, yeah. just, it's just the way it and is. And we have a lot of survivors in our collection. So we got some pretty crazy, but see how the, See how this, oh, that's, that's where, where they had the hood that right going there? through, huh? That's where it that was. is a weird spot. And they just looked funky, so we, yeah, so we replaced them. This is cool. But she's ugly into the hood, but she's beautiful in, in the interior. Well, it runs good. Where it counts, and she runs pretty good, and she'll run even better next week, or a couple weeks. <laughs> well, this car gets more looks than when you take the Superbird out. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Eight of them there. love the Tina, man. They do. Especially, like, unique like this, like, with the whole story of one side getting the sun and one side not. It's just... Like a little bit crazy a little bit crazy it's honest it's got a yeah. real story it does i like no, the green too that was like really mm -hmm. popular back then and the green i think the green and the turquoise have the best patina look to them the or blues blues like and turquoise blue. and the yeah, green. yeah we, we were, were, the we were just talking we did about is, that it's okay it's it you just can't have it blends same. everything in like you can't see it yeah well it's like the that like kind of oxide color too it goes better with some colors than mm -hmm. yeah yeah that's primer this right here. It's like the original red oxide This is the primer, original right? primer. Yeah. You know? But can you imagine the thing sitting in your driveway since 79, just sitting there? And just walking by like, it every day? Every yeah. day and not doing it. Yeah. I'll get to it. It's kind of crazy. Well, I mean, they got divorced and then that was it. And we, I tried yeah. to take it back and show it to her, but we've never been able to get a hold of her. So I don't know if she just moved or what, but it's not that far from our house. Sorry. We like to do that. Yeah. Like to take them back for those that want to. Some people they once you leave they, they don't, don't ever want to see it again. Yeah, yeah. There's that too. So anyway, well we'll let you guys get to your so day. Cool. We know you guys Very got cool things car. to do. But uh, like I said, whatever you guys you know, if something come Thank up, you. whatever. Appreciate you know, just, that. Yeah. Just let us know and yeah. we'll either ship yeah. it or bring it. We'll depending on what. We want to see it. We're excited about it. it Absolutely, bro. It. We're excited about it. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank awesome, you, brother. Man. Thank appreciate you. It. Thank you, guys. Absolutely. Yeah, appreciate no all your guys' hard work on it too. Yeah, absolutely. I know it's not easy to even like finding the car that you want to do that to initially. That's always, you know, that chase is like that's the hard part. That's of it. what we live for, <laughs> though. <laughs> I notice you guys are just on the road. Yeah, like, we go by like and pull them home. You guys try to give them away. <laughs> <laughs> I know. You're like, what are these guys doing? Release them back out of the wild. Yeah, we call it catch and release sometimes. There you go. <laughs> yeah. But we also keep some of them. But um, get them on the road, right? That's the thing, you know, they're, they're, uh, you know, they need to be driven. So 
Um, and we have a lot that don't get driven because they're super rare cars and they're, you know, in today's world, driving them is kind of difficult. But the sense. ones that should be, yeah. yeah, they should be, you know. Those are the cars you make more memories with anyway, you know? It's yeah. like you're, you're using the car. Yep. That's what, that's yeah. what it's all about.